Alta Motors is an electric vehicle technology company based in San Francisco, California. We spent about four years developing what is the most advanced powertrain technology in transportation today, and we've decided to put it into the most brutal and demanding format we can imagine to prove the level of performance that this technology is capable of. So that format is Red Bull Straight Rhythm. This is the first pro-level competition that we've put the bike into. I really don't know what's making this bike so good. It's completely foreign to me. I leave that up to these guys. There must be something to it because every time I have something to critique on it, I come back a month later and we've got a solution. It just keeps getting better. We'll see where we stack up against uh, the 250s. Since I got the call to do this, kind of tried to get back on a little bit of a program. I went and did a little race in Sweden just to kind of stay fresh. The goal today is to make sure I get into the final. I got to beat a few guys to qualify into the top eight. And then once we're in there, make it as far as we can. We're here racing. I still got a little bit of skill, so I should be able to get in the mix with the guys. But this is more of just like to get some good exposure on this new bike and a good testing day to see where it stacks up against the other bikes too. Back a little bit just to lay it down on a fast time so nobody's like really watching all the lines. And we're out of space on the clicker, so we have to make a change. That's the number. But we're all right. I think you can see the back fender. Look underneath, like that's my tire. It's just a little nerve wracking hitting like rhythms for the first time. Like there's a section where you go triple, 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 and then you have to triple onto a tabletop to step off. Nah. It's kind of like a, I haven't really hit any type of jump like that on this bike, so it's kind of scary doing something like of that size for the first time on this thing. But we did it twice and everything worked out. Josh looks great. He's, uh, he's hitting his marks and uh, he's putting together the hard features out there that, that it'll take to be competitive tonight. My big brother, I've always been proud of him. When he told me about the whole electric bike thing, I was like, I don't know, dude. I'm stuck in the 60s and I like muscle cars. So he told me more about it, more about it. And then they started riding it in mountain bike trails and riding it where dirt bikes can't go. You know, like, and that, that kind of caught my attention when he finally was like, all right, we're racing the damn thing. I was like, that's, all right, that's pretty cool. I'll show up here. for the qualifying, just getting into this was the goal. And I didn't want to make the company, everybody look dumb, you know, and I think it's a great jump forward and we'll just go do our best. It's gonna be tough to beat Cunningham, I'm gonna have to like really just lay down the perfect run. I have to lay down perfect runs to get through him and, and move on. So he, he was on the gas. He was really close to the front guys and half a second off. So. Cunningham against Hill. This is an elimination race. One rider moves off the semis and one rider is out. Josh Hill has a slide advantage. So, and the works were strong for him. So let's see what he can put together. Take the victory and a fist pump. In addition, there it is. The Alta bike has won in its first ever competition. They believe the electric motor delivers power in a more effective way than a gas engine. And this is the beginning of them trying to prove that in competition. One little mistake there, though, has allowed Cunningham to pull out on him. Can he close the gap further? Here he comes. He's getting wheel to wheel. And Cunningham's got it. So we're going in to a run number three. Tied up one to one. Use that to help increase power to get a jump. It's all right in your right hand. And you can see a very slight edge for him is actually quicker off the line. But here comes Cunningham right back on it. 
and Josh Hill has a slide advantage, so, and the woods were strong for him, can he pull it back out? And Hill does, he's got a better drive, down, that's speed check, and into the woods. Now she breaks it, and it's absolutely side by side. Sam section coming up next, slightly for Hill. Can the also electric bike pull it out? A case for Cunningham, the crowd going crazy. Cunningham coming back, and Josh Hill is going. Josh Hill and my to the next round. Unbelievable, congratulations, Arthur. Congratulations, Josh Hill, you just made history. <laughs> oh, man. I've been this happy in a little bit. I haven't been this like amped up, you know? It's good stuff. Riding's fun, but there's no substitute for being on a gate, just laying it all out there, you know? Josh Hill just exceeded all our greatest hopes and dreams. I mean, he put us into the three-run race. That was a huge moment for Alta and the whole team. Now we're just, I mean, we're focused on getting ready for the next round. Let's keep racing. So here it is, Josh Hill in the semifinals is actually able to defeat and eliminate a gas power machine on that electric, yes, electric number 75. Still side by side, and now the fans get a look at this. Hill is not going to go down without a fight. A little bubble on the landing in the sand section gives the advantage to Arthur, and he's going to pull it to the end. But Hill, a fist pump to the fans, and everyone over there at Alta Motors can certainly be proud of the motorcycle they put together and the effort that Josh Hill put in. He's eliminated, but you got to feel that this is the first of many great moments for this motorcycle. Six years of work just paid off. Um, we, we just entered our first professional motocross race, supercross event here at Red Bull Straight Rhythm, and we made it to the final four. It, it's exceeded our expectation. We really, we really thought making the night show was, was uh, about all we could expect, especially this being our first race. Josh delivered, the bike's working great. I'm a realist, but I have high expectations. So, um, you know, I, I know this, this, is, this is hard work that we're doing, and, and we're, you know, we're, we're going up against people that have a lot more experience at it. But we've got a great product and a great team, and, and I think that, you know, this is really just the beginning.